Hi, uh, we're going to talk to Brian Murray of our graphics team in the applications group at Aerodynamix. Hey, Brian. Hi, Rajesh. So, uh, I understand that uh, you made a release of our GPU SDK. Could you tell us more about that? Yeah, we just made a release uh, for supporting the, uh, the new July uh, VSP for Linux and the new August release of Android. Uh, the new features are uh, support, obviously, for Android for our OpenGL ES 1.1 samples, and we've added some more uh, demo ports and uh, documents and uh, white papers, etc. Okay, and uh, what do you have showing there right now? Right now, this is one of the demos that comes with the SDK. That you actually, the full source of this demo is in the SDK. This is an example of how to use uh, videos from GStreamer to texture 3D objects. We have a full media player here, even searching and seeking, etc to uh, select other videos in the system and support for audio playback and uh, visualization of a little. Okay, so uh, is this an example of how to show the integration of graphics and uh, the VPU? Exactly, yeah, exactly. Using our, our multimedia codecs and our GStreamer package and uh, mapping those into the uh, onto the GPU in various ways. So what else do you have in your SDK? We also have uh, a number of other demos. Uh, such as uh, this one from AMD. This is showing a little more uh, higher-end special effects, a little more environment mapping shaders, and uh, um, a little more uh, interesting <laughs> models and textures. Um, and is this available in source form or uh, binary? The, the, the previous one was available in, in source. This one's available in binary. We also have uh, a number of uh, code samples, like I mentioned earlier. So here's an uh, open GLES code sample. This is a ported Nihi demo. And we also have uh, Open GLES uh, 2.0 and uh, Open BG samples in, in addition to a proprietary 2D API uh, samples for uh, uh, little lower level primitives. Okay, and uh, what do you think uh, customers would be interested in your uh, SDK release? Uh, the SDK gives a uh, an easy way for customers to get up to speed on graphics in general and to get up on, to speed on the iDynamics and report, port, their, port their applications. also gives a feel for how to port applications between our various OS environments, uh, in this case Linux and Android. So if a customer has an application that's already running on an x based system, they can easily port it to their Android system using your SDK? Uh, that, that would be a goal, yes. There would be... Um, uh, using the SDK gives you a, a feel for how the Android NDK works and how uh, if you program something for the NDK and Android, how you could use that in order to uh, move over to X11 or vice versa. And uh, do you have support for Windows CE today? Uh, we will be adding support for Windows CE in the future. Okay, and uh, how about uh, support for the different IDMX processors with uh, GPU capabilities? We support all the GPU, all of the IDMX processors with GPU capability. Uh, we support IDMX 31, IDMX 35, IDMX 51, and uh, 53. And uh, how about the future uh, chips when they show up? Uh, can they easily use your SDK as yeah. they? Move? We will. We will add support for those future chips as the as the new SDK comes out, and so we're committed to to keeping up with that roadmap. Okay, excellent, uh, Brian. Thanks a lot for your time. Yeah, thank you.